Yo, buenos dias, what up you guys, John's Motor Garage. Welcome back to the channel, happy new year. Today is January 2nd, 2024. Crazy, crazy. Today I wanna to share with you guys my experience working with Indian motorcycles and doing some rides and reviews on their bike. We'll go over the good, the bad, the ugly, spill the beans, share all the dirt, and why am I no longer working with them? Stay tuned for that. Before we jump into it, just a quick housekeeping. I will keep this brief, but for the new year, one thing I wanna do on the channel is start showcasing subscriber bikes. And so send me pics of your motorcycles if you're interested in being highlighted on the channel here. Send me a pic of your bike and a little blurb about it, johnsmotogarage at gmail.com. Big shout out to Dustin, subscriber from Alberta. He came down, we hit up lunch, and he hooked it up with this super wrapped shirt. Thanks a bunch, Dustin. And he also gave me 50 bucks to do a pay it forward ride, so we'll do that in a future video as well. And then lastly, with my videos moving forward, I wanna start doing like weekly challenges, just small challenges, nothing big, but I'm getting old. I'm 35 years old, I'll be 36 this year. It's crazy to me how, how that's happening. And that's old relative to me, obviously, may not be old relative to other people out there watching the video. I wanna start doing little challenges to see if I can still you know, do some of the things I was doing in my youthful years. And so today at the end of the video, I'm gonna see if I can still do a standing backflip. Haven't done one for a really long time, was never super good at them. I can do a backflip off of stuff, but I wanna see if I can still do a standing backflip. So stay tuned to the end to see if we can pull that off. Oh, yeah. All right, so Indian motorcycles. Uh, first question is, how did I even get set up with them to begin with? When I first started this channel, the idea of being able to have a company send out a product or a motorcycle to review was like a, a dream. I, I always thought that'd be the coolest thing ever. In 2022, a representative who worked with Indian Motorcycles doing some of their social media and branding actually reached out to me. His name was Andrew, shout out Andrew, thanks again. And he hit me up saying, hey, would you be interested in doing some you know, taking our motorcycles and trying them out and doing videos on them. And we went back and forth for a little bit. I remember telling him I'm down to do it as long as I don't have to go by off of any script. And I think that was kind of my only stipulation. And that first bike that I chose to mess around on was the Indian FTR 1200. Yeah, it was awesome. I did a lot of videos and had a lot of fun. I was able to wheelie the bike, did burnouts, did donuts, took it in the dirt, did a top speed run, took it down a flight of stairs. I had a lot of fun riding that bike in the John's Moto Garage fashion. Now I will say, I was not trying to beat up the bike or abuse it. I was using it in a way that I thought it was capable, kind of pushing the limits a little bit. The only reason I took it down the stairs is because when you ride the Indian FTR 1200, you feel like you're on a supermoto. And so it really inspired that supermoto confidence. After doing the stair set, I realized the suspension was not set up for it, but we tried it. After doing the riding the FTR 1200 and doing some videos on it, Finally, after like seven months, some Indian reached out, said they wanted the bike back. And so a dude actually came to the house and picked up the bike and we returned it. I was sure that was the last I was gonna hear from Indian. I had a good experience with that. They never reprimanded me except for once when I first got the bike. I had a little clip of me like going up and down my street here and I wasn't wearing a helmet and I get that. I removed that from the video, but aside from that, it was, it was cool. Maybe like a year later, somebody else reached out and said, hey, we'd like to send you another bike if you're still interested. And he gave me some of the options and I decided to do the Sport Chief. And so they sent me the Sport Chief. Now, I feel like the timing for both of these was a little bit off. With the FTR, I was a little bit more active on the channel, but all of 2023 have not been super, I wasn't super active on the channel. Yeah, the timing just wasn't awesome, but I didn't want to turn down an opportunity. So I said, yeah, I'd be down to do it. So they sent me out the Indian Sport Chief and I was also getting out of the Harley wheelie stuff at that point, so I didn't really know what all I was gonna be able to do with that bike to showcase and highlight the motorcycle. To my surprise, I actually had a blast on that motorcycle. It was a ton of fun, and I really enjoyed it. I didn't get as much content out on that bike, and I didn't have it as long either compared to the FTR 1200, but I had a lot of fun on it and was able to do some cool videos with that one as well. Ended up dropping it off at a local dealership here to uh, return it a couple months after I got it. But for those two motorcycles, overall experience was awesome. It was super easy working with them. The communication was great. And like I said, I wasn't really reprimanded. I feel like I was able to give you my honest, transparent, real world review on those bikes for the limited amount of time that I had them. And so it was a cool experience. Thank you, Indian Motorcycles, for putting bikes into the hands of 
the content creators, even the Joe Schmoes, the wannabes like myself. I had a lot of fun doing that. Now, I haven't heard back from them in a while. After I returned the sport chief, the dude said that they had a little electric bike that they wanted to send out my way. I was cool to try that out, but I think Dan from Gears and Gadgets ended up buying that bike because he had it at the time, and so that didn't pan out. And then there was also the Indian Challenger, I believe, the big touring model that they were going to send over here at one point and just never ended up panning out either. It would have been cool to have that. But so overall experience, I think it was cool. I had a lot of fun working with it. I think there's always this little bit of conflict of interest when a brand is sending you a product and I wasn't paid for any of it. And I tried to make it clear I didn't want to be going off of any script. I want to be honest and transparent. I feel like I did a good job with that, but I feel like there's always still that little bit of conflict of interest, you know? But truth be told, both bikes I think were great. The reality is I'm not one to go out and buy a brand new bike for 20,000 bucks. So personally, I'm not gonna go buy either of those bikes, but I think they're great options for consumers if, uh, if that's your thing, you know, if you dig it. And that's what's cool is as a consumer, having the different options. So great experience there. If uh, anybody you know is listening from Indian or Harley or whoever it may be, I am still down to try out other motorcycles. Um, but I'm busy nowadays. Like I said, when I was active on the channel, that was like the dream was having somebody send me a motorcycle so I could do the ride review and stuff on that bike. Now it almost seems kind of like a homework assignment or a chore in a sense, but. I don't want to turn down a good opportunity and so that's why it was still cool doing it and I think it was a win-win for both parties because I had a blast I was able to provide content do some fun stuff with it and I think it for Indian hopefully it was a win-win as well but I guess that's to be determined so there was my experience working with Indian motorcycles it was a lot of fun it was a positive experience really no complaints at all I'm glad it happened I think it was pretty rad dream come true for little kid john's moto garage all right now for the challenge we're gonna see if i can still do a standing backflip um wherever just don't hit anything oh jeez, freaky something popped oh i just thought it might pop Ugh. Not as strong as it used to be, but technically we landed it. All right, I just watched back the video of my backflip and I don't think I was ever good at standing backflips, but man, I need to work on that technique. Reality is though, I'm probably not going to. Backflips aren't super high on my priority list anymore, but hey, we pulled it off, sketchy as it was. My, my goal with these challenges is gonna be doing stuff that I'm capable of. I don't wanna get injured or hurt doing it, but just to kind of have fun, you know, see if I can still do a kickflip on a skateboard or, you know, 360 on a BMX bike. Just little stuff to sprinkle into the videos moving forward, keep them a little bit more entertaining. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe if you dig it. Shout out again to Dustin. Thank you for the shirt, super rad. Send me videos or pictures of your bikes if you wanna be showcased in future videos. And I think that's gonna do it for today. Shout out to Jackie for filming. And we'll catch you next time. Adios. Nos vemos.